Hi, Mike Saif here, and in this short video, we're going to take a look at our book, The Role of the Holding Midfielder from an Attacking Perspective When the Team Has the Ball. Uh, we have a number of these books that look at the role of each position, whether it's a center defender, fullback, midfielders, wide midfielders, forwards, etc. And it looks at them both from a defensive point of view and also from attacking point of view. And this one is The Holding Midfielder from an Attacking Point of View. It's by Luca Bertolini. And if we scroll down the left-hand side here, you'll see we've got diagrams, we've got statistics, we've got images of real game footage. And if we go all the way down to the end, you'll see we've got over 60 pages in this book. And let's just take a look at what the holding midfielder is about. This book, uh, th there's really three holding, uh, three types of holding midfielder, and this book takes a look at all three and breaks it down. Um, looks at the differences between a defensive midfielder and a holding midfielder because there's slight differences there. Uh, how you can use your holding midfielder as a playmaker um, and how the holding midfielder can provide cover for attacking midfielders uh, and also how the holding midfielder fits in in the different formations of play. So whether you play with a 4-3-3, a 4-4-2, 4-2-3-1, 3-5-2, uh, whatever formation really, uh, there's a whole, you know, there's a, a situation where you can use a holding midfielder. So that's about the holding midfielder uh, from an attacking perspective by Luca Bertolini, and I'm sure you're going to really like it.